Hey everyone, welcome back to the Grim Ripper. Today is our Time Travel Tuesday edition. As you can see, we'll be opening up some 1987 Topps Wax Packs. And it is sponsored by uh, Debbie O. She's been sponsoring quite a few videos lately. If anybody else would like to sponsor videos, it's very simple to do so. You just need to go over to our Patreon channel. There's a link in the description of this video. Once there, just choose any tier uh, to support the channel all the way from the three dollar tier uh, and we have uh, different levels up to a seventy five dollar tier as well and each tier has different benefits that you get for being a sponsor at that level one of the benefits you get on any level is the opportunity to buy into these sponsorships uh, each day so uh, Debbie will receive all the cards from these packs as she has sponsored this video. So let's take a look and see what she's going to get. If you all like this video, make sure you hit that like button, get subscribed to the channel, and start commenting on the videos as well. And all those likes are actually quite helpful, so make sure you hit that like button if you're watching this. And uh, my least favorite thing has just happened. A Hall of Famer is on the bottom of this wax pack, and he, Dennis Eckersley, is going to have that wax stain, which I just don't like that. If you're going to have a wax-stained player, let's try to make sure that it's not a Hall of Famer. But here we go. Floyd Eumanns, Larry McWilliams, there's Daryl Miller, and Aurelio Lopez. Mike Scott and Mike Sosha. Mark Davis. There's Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. That's a very nice card of Wade Boggs. That's going to go on our board right now. Bob Dernier and Billy Bean. Pete Ladd. Buddy Bell. There's Bobby Bonilla and Jim Deshays. Jim Rice is a Hall of Famer as well, and there's his all-star card from this 87 tops. I'm going to keep the wax-stained cards separate from the good ones. Pack number two. The box that these cards came from is also from my local card shop. Again, he has a nice selection of the junk wax era stuff, so I'm able to get quite a few boxes whenever I want of these and find the gems in the junk wax. There's Teddy Higuera and Craig Nettle or Greg Nettles, Buddy Bell, some Red Sox leaders, Bobby Bonilla again. We're going to get Mike Schmidt's All-Star card. He's a Hall of Famer. Get him on the board with Jim Rice and Wade Boggs. Luis Aquino, there we go, a nice replacement for that ruined Eckersley, and this one's a beauty. That is a nice Eckersley, very well centered, nice corners, that back is clean and centered. That's a great replacement for that one that was wax stained. I'm very happy that we got that. Chris Basio, there's some Mets leaders, we got Gary Carter, and looks like Daryl Strawberry on that one. Eddie Milner and Kurt Young, Bill Allman, Hal McRae, Yogi Berra, classic baseball player on the Astros leader card, Ed Hearn, and Phil Bradley to finish off pack number two. Here we go, pack number three, 1987, the year I graduated from high school. That has been... Quite a while ago. Oh, another Hall of Famer getting the wax stain. This time it's Kirby Puckett, his all-star card. 1986 American League leader all-star. Sorry about that, Kirby. Let's see what else we can get for Debbie. Start off with a Ray Quinones, Terry Pull. Dave Henderson, Ray Searage, Dave LaPointe, and Doyle Alexander. Get some White Sox leaders for you there, Debbie. How about Don Mattingly? 
That's a nice looking all-star card for Mr. Mustache right there. Don Mattingly, popular player. Kelly Gruber and, Do and Bob Tewksbury. Got Shelby and Higuera. Mariano Duncan. Mike Felder, Jack Clark. And John Cangalosi of the White Sox for you there. Pack number four. Interestingly, these 1987 Tops packs are the colors of my high school. We were green, gold, and white at my high school. So I had never really taken note of that. Oh, Ken Griffey Sr. Good thing Ken Griffey Jr. wasn't playing at this point because the Ken Griffey would have had wax on the back. But this is Ken Griffey's dad. There he is, Ken Griffey Sr. Getting the wax stain. Don't like that. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully some great cards to make up for that. Brett Saberhagen and Mike Maddox. Pete O'Brien, Bob Brindley. There's Pete Rose, Reds leader card. Jerry Mumphrey and Scott Terry. Jody Davis, Wallace Johnson, Moose Haas. Phillies leaders, Gene Walter and Ken Landrew. Hey, there is a nice card to make up for that wax-stained Ken Griffey Sr. How about a Bo Jackson Future Stars and a nice one it is. That's a beautiful card right here. Let's get this one sleeved and top-loaded right now because this is indeed one of the top cards to pull from this year of tops the Bo Jackson rookie card beautiful card congratulations on this one Debbie I think this one in PSA 10 is over a $100 card I might look that one up right now just because that is an amazing hit for you pull up some recent auctions here on the PSA website. Tops, 1987, and what is the card number on Bo Jackson? Card number 170. We'll just hold that up on the screen while I look this one up. Card number 170, Mr. Bo Jackson. Wow, a lot of folks that have had this one PSA. There we go. The last sale on this is from September the 23rd of this year. And that PSA 10 condition when sold for $153. $153. And even a PSA 9 is still a $30 card. This is this has to be at least a PSA 9 and quite possibly higher. The only thing I can see that might cause it an issue would be the top to bottom centering, but even that's not too bad. I think it may be within the realm. But what a beautiful card to get. Congratulations, Debbie, on that one. Steve Lake and Rick Sutcliffe to finish off that pack. Boy, I don't think we can beat a Bo Jackson rookie card out of this set, because I think that might be the top card. As I scan through here, that one is the one that has been sent in the most often for grading purposes. Well, the Barry Bonds is in here, too. Card number 320, Barry Bonds. Well, the Barry Bonds is the top card. It sold on September the 27th for $305. So if there's a PSA 10 Barry Bonds in these 87 packs for Debbie. That is for sure a gem in the junk wax. But if you're not going to get a Barry Bonds, that Bo Jackson is a nice one. Jamie Moyer, you got wax on your card. You get to go in a separate stack. Randy Myers, Junior Ortiz, Vida Blue and Lee Lacey. There's Guidry and Ford. Espino, Ron Darling, 
Andre Thornton. There's Roger Clemens. He's a popular player, of course. It's his record breaker card. Dick Williams, I think he's a Hall of Fame manager. Ron Davis, Ron Hassey of the Sox. John Cerruti, Earl Weaver, and Jorge Orta to finish off pack number five. So we're going to tear into the final pack for this episode, pack number six. Congratulations, Debbie, on some great cards so far. I hope all of you will hit the like button and congratulate Debbie as well for the great cards that she pulled tonight. We're going to finish off pack number six with Terry Pendleton, Joe Cowley of the Sox, Bruce Benedict and Greg Harris, Paul Zavella, Russ Mormon, Dave Rigetti. Well, Russ Mormon was a Sox player as well. There's Mel Hall, marketing card. Ed Oldwine, Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. Put him on the board. There's a Future Stars rookie card of Dave Magadan. Jose Cruz, Mickey Brantley, Jose Guzman, Mark Salas, and there's Phil Necro, Hall of Fame pitcher Phil Necro. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope everybody has a great night, and we'll see everyone for our What's Up Wednesday rip. Have a great evening.